Apache Spark is an open source, distributed data processing engine designed to handle large-scale data efficiently. In other words, it helps you work with big data faster than traditional systems. Now, what do I mean by distributed processing? Let's break it down. So imagine you have a massive data set, billions of rows of customer transactions. Processing that on a single computer could take hours, maybe even days. But with Spark, that workload is split across multiple machines. Each machine works on a portion of the data in parallel, drastically reducing processing time. Spark achieves distributed processing through its architecture, which is built around a concept called a cluster. Let's break that down step by step. At the heart of the Spark cluster is the driver. This acts as the manager of the entire operation. It orchestrates parallel operations in the Spark cluster. When you submit a Spark job to the cluster, the driver handles three key things. First, it breaks your job into stages, consisting of smaller tasks that can run in parallel. Next, it sends those tasks to the workers. And finally, it manages the results when the tasks are complete. It either collects the results or orchestrates writing it directly to storage. Then there's the cluster manager. This allocates resources like CPU and memory to different parts of the job. Common cluster managers include Yarn, Kubernetes, or Spark's built-in manager. Now finally, we have the worker nodes. These are the machines that do the actual heavy lifting. A worker node consists of an executor. Each executor is responsible for executing tasks assigned by the Spark driver and performing data operations, such as reading, transforming, and writing data. They're also responsible for caching intermediate data if required, as well as communicating with the driver and other executors when necessary. When Spark distributes tasks, each executor processes a different slice of the data. Both the driver and executor processes work in Java virtual machines. And this parallelism is what makes Spark so powerful. The worker nodes contain slots. The number of slots is dependent on the number of cores and CPU in that node. Each slot can run one task at a time. So for example, if an executor has four cores, then it can handle four slots, meaning four tasks can run in parallel on that executor. If all of the worker node slots are handling tasks, then the cluster manager can provision another worker node to process that task depending on how you've configured the cluster. So in summary, you have the driver managing the workflow, executors in the worker nodes performing the tasks, and the cluster manager overseeing the resource allocation.